Ellie Downey is a gymnast on a mission. At just the age of 16, she's no stranger to making history. Her all-around bronze medal at the European Championships in 2015 was the first one by a Great Britain female gymnast at a major competition. She played her part in helping Team GB win their first ever team medal at the World Championships before winning four gold medals of her own at the World Challenge Cup, the first woman to do that since 1975. But her success in the sport might not have happened had she not followed in the footsteps of older sister Becky. Becky was in here, I just got involved and then never really stopped, so it's just kind of been my life and I've grown to love it and I still love it now, so I'm just enjoying the journey and anything that comes as a bonus. Becky's been rather successful herself. She was part of the GB squad for the Beijing Olympics in 2008 and has also medalled at the Commonwealth Games and the European Championships. She hopes her experience can help her younger sibling. We've always known that she's been talented and with my career I kind of feel like I made a lot of mistakes along the way and it was like learning and especially as British gymnastics has progressed so much so I feel like a lot of the mistakes I've made I've tried to pass on my experience to her so she doesn't make the same mistakes and if anything Ellie's kind of like not a second chance for me but a way to use all of my bad times and um, so she can be as great as she can be and I mean so far she's doing amazingly. Ellie's also played a supporting role in their relationship. When Becky missed out on being selected for London 2012, Ellie and her family came up with a plan. For me it was a really difficult period because I wanted to be on that team so much and I had to train up until the last second in case I was ever needed. Um, and every week I came home, one week Ellie and my older sister Gemma, they baked me a cake. Um, the next week I came home, they said they had a surprise for me and told me to shut my eyes and go and sit down in the lounge. Um, and then I did and they just dropped this small kitten into my arms and we called him Rio and we still have him today. <laughs> It was really nice thought and just for my family and we've always been like into cats and stuff and he's just cute and it's nice to have him around and it's kind of it's a nice memory for me to kind of know that he's been there this whole time and still with us. As well as a cat there are also plenty of medals on show in the family home in Nottingham. Many of Becky's are downstairs while Ellie's already running out of space in her room to showcase her achievements. However she's got a plan for that. No, I haven't got much room left on my ward to be honest but I'm hoping when Becky moves out, I'll get her room, so... <laughs> With all their success, the weight of expectation is growing on the sisters, but the pair will want to prove they can cope with it by competing alongside the world's elite at the Rio Olympics this summer. Michael Redford, Sky Sports.